times have you been in a situation and you thought like, I'm not going to make it out of this. Like, there's no way that I'm going to survive this issue. And you felt like almost giving up, you know what I mean? But then thankfully, as the Lord would have it, somebody actually came in your path. Now, as believers, we know that there is no such thing as coincidence. Like, God has everything already predestined and preordained for us as believers. Like, He knew we were going to come become believers. He knew where we were going to live. He knew what family we were going, going to be born in. He knew how many siblings we were going to have. Like, he just knew everything. So to think that things just happen is really crazy. It's not a believer's way to live. So when you go through certain situations and you think, like, there's no way this is going to turn around. I mean, what is going to happen to really turn this situation around? And, like, in your physical strength or, like, in the abilities that you possess, like, there's no way to fix this situation or there's no way to really get out of it. So you can get to such a place as um, hopelessness, and that's a really terrible place to be but as believers in Jesus Christ we should always have hope but the only way to do that is by focusing on the Lord by focusing on what he has planned for the outcome like we serve the God of the impossible so there's just so many things that the Lord does that are just so far beyond anything we could think or imagine that it just radically blows our mind. It just transforms our life. And that's how we transform from glory to glory. It's through those situations and circumstances. So don't pray that your life would be easier. Just pray that you would remember to always focus on the Lord, to go to him first in prayer. You know, so many of us, it's gone. So many of us go to so many other things or people instead of the Lord uh, first and foremost. You know, I'm guilty of that also. I mean, I've done that many times. But really, the Lord is the one who holds all the answers. Like he has the answers to our current problems and situations and circumstance and it's okay to go to your friends absolutely to go to your you know your circle of believing friends for sure so that they can pray with you so that they can read scripture with you and just so they can just speak truth and encouragement to you from the word of god not not from a worldly standpoint right we don't need worldly advice when we're going through a situation that's almost overtaking us what we need is God's word God's truth God's promises and that's what helps us to overcome these seemingly overwhelming situations like they're literally going to take us out we have to always know that Jesus is always there for us like he will always be there for us his word says that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So with that in mind, we can have the confidence in Christ that, that he's always with us, that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So there's no reason to get into a state of hopelessness and feel like nothing's ever going to change and this is never going to get better. He tells us, in Matthew, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. So when we take our burdens to the Lord, we, we mentally pass them over to him. Like we pray about situations that are difficult 
because we simply don't know what to do. And so we pass those burdens onto him. And then he takes on those burdens for us through working things out in a way that that is impossible for us to do as humans, but it's not impossible for God because nothing is impossible for him. So we have to bring our burdens, our concerns to the Lord and literally just lay them down at his feet and just keep them there, leave them there. Don't pick them up again. Like if you're worrying about your health, you know, for instance, myself with MS, like if I were to carry that burden all by myself, that would be heavy and overwhelming. But I have got to rely on the Lord for my health. I've got to rely on the Lord for my strength, for my healing, for my deliverance. And if I don't rely on him, like I've tried it. So before I would try to um, think that if I just ate the right way, if I just ate this and not this, then my health is going to be secure. Like I'm never going to have anything happen to me because I can control it all by the foods that I eat, by the thoughts that I think, by the things that I put in my body. Now, yes, those things are important. I'm not saying that those things are not important. They are. But what's more important is what our beliefs about God are. Like those are extremely important. So I just wanted to bring that message to you today. The Lord wants to reach so many more people with his deliverance. I mean, we read in Isaiah that Jesus came to set the captives free. So in order for him to be continuously setting captives free, like he's still setting captives free. How? Through us, through his disciples through the people that he has called and the Holy Spirit dwells in. And we share the message of truth and hope and love with others. That's how Christ is still delivering people to this day from things that they feel are literally going to kill them. So I hope this word encourages you today to just remember to always go to the Lord, like with everything. The Lord wants you to bring everything to him. Like nothing is hidden from the Lord anyway. So when we try to hide things from the Lord, he knows it anyway. Like there is no hiding from the Lord. We cannot hide from the Lord. We can't. He is omnipresent. He's everywhere. I mean, the word says that nothing is hidden from the Lord. That's nothing. That word means nothing. So today, remember who you are living for. You're living for an audience of one, and it's the Lord Jesus Christ, and he will be there for you no matter what. All right, take care. I'll talk to you guys soon. God bless.